Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And all the coast of Palestine, will ye render me a record? So it says all the coast of Palestine, that's that entire Gaza Strip, right? Watch this, come on. Will ye render me a recompense? Will you pay me back for not choosing you? Come on. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So just like you took my children and you sold them off as slaves, God says, I'm going to bring that same recompense upon your head. Why you think they're getting hell right now? That's why they're catching hell. And guess what? He said they're gonna become, they're gonna be sold likewise in the coming kingdom. That's God's kingdom. Watch this. Because the Israelites, give me Exodus 11 and 7 really quick, hold that, Exodus 11 and 7. Hey, how y'all doing? What's your name? Don't be shy. What's your name? Y'all ever heard of uh, uh, slavery before? How, do, how did our people get here to the, into this side of the world? Y'all don't run away, don't run away, man. This is the best information you're going to get in your life, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Don't be shy, don't be scared. Your homies, you're going to see them tomorrow, bro. You're going to see them tomorrow. All right? So, how do we get here to this side of the world? Do you know? You ever heard a slave trade? You in sixth grade? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. How about you? How old are you, sis? Same? Y'all in the same grade? All right, watch this. Come on. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference. A what? A difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God puts a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites, between the Africans and the, and the Israelites, meaning Shemitic people and Kemetic people. You know what I'm saying? So although we may have similarities and we look, but, uh, look alike, but we are much different than them. So let's go back to Joel 3, and it said, What have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Those are two African nations that sold or casted lots and sold women for wine of the nation of Israel. He said, what have you have to do with me, Tyre and Zidon? Come on. Joel 3 verse 4. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? All the coast of who? Palestine. Palestine is the Palestinians today, or the Arabs, or Muslims, correct? Because we had... The, who, who took who sold us to the white man to the to the white man on the west coast of Africa? Who sold us? Do you know the history? I know y'all know about transatlantic slave trade. Who was a part of it? Who and what black people? Who was who was doing the selling? You said that was here or over there in Africa? Because this was before we got what we're reading about is before we got to the Americas. So who was who was selling black people? Is my question. Okay, they bought us and then they brought us here. Who sold us to white people? Africans. And who else? The people that own them. It's going. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Read that part again. And yay! What have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? That's what you got right there. Africans. That's who Tyree and Zidon is. Those are African nations. Come on. And all the coast of Palestine. Those are Palestinians today. Who are the Palestinians? Who lives over there in Gaza, on the Gaza Strip? Listen up, listen up. Hey, Arabs. No, no, no. That's Arabs. That's it. The Palestinians. You ever heard of the sub-Saharan slave trade? That's what was going on in west coast of Africa. The, the, the Arabs were selling us amongst the Africans between themselves and then the white man came and bought us from them. And then we're going to read it in the Bible. Watch this. Come on. And all the coast of Palestine, will ye render me a record? So it says all the coast of Palestine, that's that entire Gaza Strip, right? Watch this. Come on. 
Will ye render me a recompense? Will you pay me back for not choosing you? Come on. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So just like you took my children and you sold them off as slaves, God says, I'm going to bring that same recompense upon your head. Why you think they're getting hell right now? That's why they're catching hell. And guess what? He said they're gonna become, they're gonna be sold likewise in the coming coming kingdom. That's God's kingdom. Watch this. Come on. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. So they also robbed our temples and they took our silver and our gold and they put it in their places, right? Watch this. The children also of Judah. And of who? Of Judah. What's your nationality, sis? You American, like a black American. So, let me get by you. According to the Bible, because it said the children also of Judah, right? According to the Bible, right here, American black, you will be of the tribe of Judah, right? Because that's what we're talking about, right? Watch this. So those brothers left. They don't know the importance of what they're getting. They don't know. Yo, bus coming? All right, well, watch this. Let me leave you with something. The children also of Judah... And the children of Jerusalem have ye sown unto the Grecians. To the who? Unto the Grecians. Who are the Greeks? Listen. Who are they? What nation of people? What color are they? Greeks? White. You saying like you don't know. You don't know who Greeks are? You don't know? Okay, Greeks are white. It's a European nation. They're white people. Our history, we're reading about it right here in the Bible. That's what we're reading about. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But why did we go through that? Is the question. Why did God allow that? Because you taught, do you go to do you go to church? You taught that God loves everybody, right? And that God is love. So if God is love and he loves everybody, which he is love, don't get me wrong, it's just a misconception of that. Why did he allow this to happen to us? Bring it out. Did you ever ask your pastor that? No. You never have? I'm going to give you the answer. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So this is Moses prophesying to the nation of Israel, telling them what's going to happen to them in the future. Watch this. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he says, if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, which is this Bible, and you don't keep his commandments or his statutes, what's gonna happen? That all these curses, what? These curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But I thought God only de deals with love. But here we're reading about God placing plagues on a nation of people if they did not obey him. <laughs> Correct. Correct. And we're gonna see it. We're gonna do it. Verse 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt To what? Into Egypt What was, because you say you went to church, right? What was the condition of the Israelites in Egypt? You know what I want, right? <laughs> what was their status? What was their class so status? So like here in America, you got the poor class, you got the middle class, you got the high class, the 1%. What was the class system or the class that the Israelites was in? You said high? Hey, don't go nowhere, big bro. Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, it was in a poor condition. Let's get it. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Hey, sis. Hey, sis, where are you going? I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Hey, look, look, look. I ain't gonna lie. You might miss your bus, but just catch the next one. It's, it's every 10, 15 minutes. All right, come on. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the where? Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So it says Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage. So if you are a bondage, what are you? A what? What's that? A bondage, yeah. If you are in bondage, what is it? If you're bound, what are you? Huh? No, not powerful. You bound. If somebody came and put you in handcuffs right now, what are you? Okay, you're a prisoner. Right? 
and they can do whatever they want with you, right? Watch this, watch this. Exodus 1 and 10. Exodus 1 and 10. I'm going to show y'all something. Hey, how you doing, sis? What's your name? Asia. Asia, what about you? How do we get to the shores of America as a nation of people? <laughs> you don't know. So y'all ain't been to school? Uh-huh. All right, well, let me finish this. Let me just show you this. Let me go to a couple more scriptures. When the bus comes, you can do your thing, all right? All right, come on. Exodus chapter 1, verse 10. Come on and let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they're fought about any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. So this is Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, amongst his counselors, counseling on how to deal with the Israelites. Come on. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasured cities, Python and Ramses. So they forced us to build treasure cities, all right, which today is called the Valley of the Kings, Python and Ramses, right? Come on. But the more they afflicted them, the more they afflicted us and put more labors on us, come on. The more they multiply and grew. The more we multiply and grew. Ain't that a saying amongst us? We don't die, we multiply. Come on. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. To serve with rigor means serve with hard bondage. Meaning what? They forced us into slavery. So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Because remember, he said, once he delivered us out of Egypt, he said, if you break my commandments, I'm going to cause you to go back to Egypt. So if you just lay slavery, okay, that's your bus. That's your bus. Hey, sis, take a look at that flyer on the back. Get in contact. For sure, for sure. Read on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What? With ships. So the Bible prophesies about the blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians being put on cargo slave ships for breaking God's commandments. No other nation on this earth can say that they fit the description of what we just read here. God has, has sent his prophets back on this earth to teach you to come back to him and to repentance. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Meaning what? Exactly how I'm explaining to you is exactly how it's going to happen. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Because we were never going to see the land of Egypt as a nation again. He said, I'm going to bring you to another place that you have to go to by the way of ships. So this ain't talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about a place against the land from which we came. This is talking about the Americas. And hey, you young men, young men, young men with the backpacks. Hey, you, come check it out, bro. You and your homies. You got to go where you got to go, man. You got to go to the crib. What you got? You on a, uh, you on a, uh, what's the name? Yeah, curfew. That's what I'm looking for. You ain't on no dang old curfew. Stop lying. Quarantine, get out of here, man. You lying. Hey, check it out. Watch this. Read on. And there ye shall be sown. What? Ye shall be sown. Shall be what? Ye shall be sown unto your enemies. So God allowed us and made us to be sown unto our enemies. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. 